Can you talk a bit about Heidegger? Uh, I don't know. Will you guys understand it if I do? It's such a big pill to swallow, dude. Heidegger, Heidegger changes everything, dude. Heidegger changes everything about how you think. Everything, dude. Literally changes everything about how you think. Heidegger allows humanity to recognize that by means of the ways in which it represents being through language and all those other kinds of things, it actually possesses a relation to the object. Heidegger allows us to see how humanity is culpable in its own being by means of what we otherwise think in, you know, after modernity to be a mere speaking about being. We don't ever think we're culpable in our, in terms of the meaning of our speech, right? When I, when we say, for example, the sky, we think of ourselves as an abstracted cogito who is speaking about something fundamentally estranged from us, right? But Heidegger will say, no, when you're speaking about the sky, you are actually speaking about a concrete relation between a man and, for example, the sky. You're not... You don't have an unconditional distance toward being when you speak. You are in it. What you are talking about, you are somehow in. You're culpable in. You're really speaking about it. There is no other secret, consecrated site in which being is being given meaning outside of language. When we say, when we use our speech, our language, to talk about being and beings, moreover, that is the sight of meaning about those things. That is where those things are given meaning. Notice I'm not saying I'm not even just saying human meaning. I'm saying meaning as such. Meaning as such. That's where we begin for Heidegger today. And that's where we also end. <laughs> so, have you read Marcuse's work on Heidegger? Yeah, I hate it. They got chased, they got cornered, they got kicked in their stuff. Rubber bullets. Rubber bullets on sight. First night they came up running spraying. And we eating all them bullets just to say stop killing us. That's it. That ain't much to ask for. We never afraid. We need justice for Dante Wright. Why is Heidegger, oh, this is what I'll leave it on, ready? Why is Heidegger relevant for Marxism? Because Heidegger forces us to recognize that when we speak as Marxists, when we think as Marxists, when we speak about the proletarian class, the bourgeoisie, and all of the concepts, conceptual uh, fabric unique to Marxism, the more fundamental being about which we are speaking is not unconditional. Our distance toward the concepts unique to Marxism 
are con themselves conditioned. In other words, Marxists have this prejudice where they think they speak about material reality, they call themselves materialists, but they implicitly assume that when, when they're talking about the beings, for example, relevant to Marxism, proletariat, capitalism, bourgeoisie, uh, the, the mode of production, that they are occupying in their subjective position of enunciation some unconditional distance toward those things. But Heidegger says that distance is not unconditional. It is conditioned. It is itself historical. And as a Marxist, I can say, tell you, it is itself material. That's why I say there's a significance of a peasantry. Because the peasantry is the very social form of this conditionality. The material and social form of this conditionality is the peasantry.